Have you ever wondered what the offspring of a giraffe and elephant would look like? As strange as it may sound, there are a couple of hybrids in the animal kingdom that are technically separate species, yet genetically similar enough to be able to breed together. Welcome to You Curious, and here are the top 5 bizarre animal hybrids. Number 5. The Mule You've probably heard of a mule, but did you know that a mule is actually the offspring of a female horse and a male donkey? That's right, it's our first animal hybrid. If you look at a mule, you might mistake it for a donkey. They are very similar. They're bred domestically due to their increased patience, their hardness, and the longevity compared to their horse mothers and more intelligent than their donkey dads. Number 4. The Wolf Dog <coughs> Dogs, and particularly grey wolves, are genetically incredibly close. These wolf dogs are actually very common, and they date back at least 10,000 years when they were first used in the hunting of woolly mammoths. Many popular dog breeds today, including the German Shepherd, had wolf dogs used in their evolution, and wolf dogs, because they're easier to train than wild wolves, are often used in film and TV to portray their wolf ancestors. Number 3. The Savannah Cat this exotic-looking animal species is a cross between an average domestic cat and a serval, which is a mid-sized wild African cat. Despite looking like a wild species, the savannah cat is in fact considered a domestic cat, with kittens available for sale all over the world. Number 2. The Wolfin This entry on our list is incredibly rare. A wolfin is the offspring of a female bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale. Now, what, I hear you ask, is a false killer whale? Well, a false killer whale is technically a member of the dolphin family and shares a lot of characteristics with the more commonly known killer whale or orca. Number 1. The Liger At number 1 on our list, it's quite literally the big one, the largest big cat in the world. The Liger is an offspring between a male lion and a female tiger. Get a load of this guy! Hercules the Liger is officially recognised as the largest cat in the world, weighing in at an incredible 922 pounds. The breeding of Ligers is somewhat controversial, as these have never existed in the wild, due to the fact that lions and tigers don't share a habitat. In fact, they exist on completely separate continents. Animal intelligence is difficult to pin down, because intelligence takes different forms. Intelligence can include anything from language comprehension, cooperation, to problem solving, and mathematical skills. It's easy to recognise intelligence in other primates, but there are many other species that may be smarter than you think. Let's look at some of the most intelligent animals. You curious? Discover more. No more. One, apes. The chimpanzee, gorilla, bonobo, and orangutan, they already have traits that we associate with basic intelligence. They have close family groups, they have large brains and social hierarchies. They use basic tools like sticks to root out insects, though they don't yet build things. Some even argue that they have the ability to talk, although they lack developed vocal cords. Some apes have been taught to communicate using sign language. However, so long as we're around, it doesn't look to be much room for another intelligent species. We humans have a history of, um, well, eliminating the competition. 2. Bears Bears share the large brains, close family ties and variable diet that mark out a lot of mammals. They're already smart enough to solve problems and come up with multi-role harebrained schemes to steal honey from bees. They also have a big advantage, they're tough and incredibly resistant to the elements. In any kind of climate shift, the kind of creatures who succeed would be intelligent predators able to adapt to a new world very quickly. In a post-human world with a sudden uptick of prey, it might be bears who will be able to forget about their worries and their strife, spend less time hunting for food, and more time just sitting and thinking. 3. Dolphins Quick fire quiz, who is the second smartest creature on the planet today? It's actually dolphins. Now, as anyone who's ever read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy knows, dolphins are pretty brainy already. Just how smart is still up for debate. 
We know they have highly developed social skills and employ tactics when they hunt that any football manager would readily recognise. They can communicate with each other and they can solve problems that even some of us would struggle with. Dolphins have time in their busy schedules to relax. They've been found playing tag and leaping out of the water for no other apparent reason than just the sheer fun of it. Science estimates dolphins have been as smart as they are for around 20 million years. 4. Cephalopods Many scientists think that these are the best bet for who will develop intelligence next. Squids, octopi and cuttlefish, they're already evolutionary oddballs. Eight arms, three hearts, blue blood and very large brains. They've got where they are today by being inventive, so it makes sense that they'll continue to do so in the future. They've already been known to use tools and it wouldn't be a great leap for them to start building things, if only they get the idea. They can travel on land too. True, they're not very graceful, but that's nothing a few million years of evolution wouldn't fix. 5. Ants There's another kind of animal on the planet with social structures just as complex as humans. They live in groups million strong, they build cities, they use farms, and they even keep livestock. They are, of course, hive-building insects, ants, termites, and even bees. Their style of intelligence is very different from ours. It's known as eusocial intelligence. One individual ant isn't very smart at all, but rather than work as an individual, these insects work in large, organized groups for the greater good of the colony. This allows them to support complex societies that you could call civilizations. They build ant hills and mounds as cities. They farm algae for food. Now, there are a few barriers to insects taking our place on Earth, and the main one is their tiny size. It's unlikely ants are going to write the next Harry Potter, true, but mines, megastructures, space travel, who knows what antics they might get up to. Brian Greene once said, Science is a process that takes us from confusion to understanding. And we couldn't agree more, as science has made almost everything simple for everyone. But there are a few things that have no explanation whatsoever. Welcome to You Curious, and here are 10 things that science has yet to explain. The placebo effect. You all know that when we get ill, we take medicine. When scientists are testing a medicine, they'll often give some of their patients what's called a placebo, which is a substitute for actual medicine. However, it has been found in the past that some patients have responded just as much to a placebo as they would have to actual medicine. Scientists theorize that this is an example of the power of the mind over the body. Because a person believes they're taking the medicine, they start to feel better. 9. Why magnets have two ends. If you look at any bar magnet, you'll see that they have both a north and a south pole. If you cut that bar magnet into lots of tiny, 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 tiny magnets, the same thing would still happen. However, nobody's quite sure why. 8. Why is the sun so hot? Why is the sun's atmosphere so hot? The sun is huge, heavy, and has got a diameter of 1.39 million kilometers, which is 109 times that of Earth. The corona of the sun, its outer atmosphere, reaches a staggering 20 million degrees Celsius. Normally, similar stars to our sun would have a much cooler corona, but as yet, scientists have yet to explain why our sun is so special. 7. Gravity Sir Isaac Newton even told us about gravity hundreds of years ago when an apple fell on his head. There's no single explanation as to exactly how gravity works. Perhaps the simplest theory for gravity is that it's just a byproduct of all the other natural forces in the universe acting together. 6. Dreams Science still can't actually explain why human beings dream. Some people believe that dreaming is a way for our mind to filter and process information. Science has yet to explain what dreams mean, either. Some people believe that dreams contain hidden messages or meanings, but as yet there's no evidence to support this theory. 5. Where are all the mammoths? Millions of years ago, dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Even as recently as 10,000 years ago, woolly mammoths were around in the days of early man. But why don't we have any huge mammals anymore? There are several theories to explain their extinction. One is the rise of humanity, which resulted in them being hunted to extinction. Another is that climate change occurred at one point in the Earth's past, altering Earth's environment just enough so that survival became impossible for these large beasts. However, the most common line of thought says that they died out due to a number of complex factors acting together. 4. Compass Cows Have you ever watched a cow eat? They stand with their heads lowered to the ground, always chewing on their grass, and always facing either north or south. It's a weird one. 
3. Yawning Yawning is really weird. Common thinking says that we yawn as a reflex because we're not taking in enough oxygen. But still, nobody can explain why seeing someone else you're talking about yawning makes us do it. Yeah. 2. ASMR ASMR, or Autonomous Sensory Median Response. Studies have shown that people of all ages and backgrounds experience similar sensations through ASMR, and yet they've got no idea why. 1. Complex Carbs Human beings are incredibly complex organisms, right? You and me containing about 20,000 different genes. They help to make us the diverse and wonderfully complex species that we are. However, do you know what's more genetically complicated than you or me? A tomato. That's right, a tomato has 30,000 genes in its makeup. Why? Don't know, actually. Nobody knows, nor can they explain why the humble spud has even more genes, clocking in at 39,000 genes. You'd think that we as sentient, walking, talking creatures who've built civilizations would have a few more genes in there to make us work, but it turns out we might not be quite as complicated as we first thought. Mm -hmm.